and welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the question fake certificate the question states that you are given a binary string s of length n representing a tendon sheet of ls for days when ls went to school si equal to 1 otherwise si equal to 0 ls wants to increase her attendance she can perform the following operation at most once choose any substring of s where ls was absent every day she can then give a medical certificate for this period and will be marked present for the whole period. Note that a substring is contiguous segment of a string. For example, ACAB is substring of AC, ABA, CABA, but C, but alone D or AA aren't substrings of the string. In other words, substring L to R is the string from L to index r so we need to find maximum number of days ls will be marked present after performing the operation at most once so we are given with input p the number of test cases and n the length of the string and second line contains binary string s so here what we need to do is we need to have at most the number of ones we, we can have so the maximum number of ones are needed and we can convert zero can be converted to one when they are between ones which means if i have one zero one this can be converted to one 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 so we can convert zeros to ones if our starting element is one and ending element is also one or else we are only having zero so in this case there are all ones already so answer is three here we can convert all zeros to three all zeros to one so the answer is three as we need to choose a substring so we are choosing a substring where we can encounter the zero so in this if you convert zero one it will be only one so it will be two days if you take one zero zero it will be three days we can take one zero zero one so this will be four days and this is the answer here also you can take one zero zero one and this is the answer so here what we need to do is we need to find the maximum count of zeros which is there and then count the number of ones number of ones plus max of zero when these both are added this will give us the answer so i hope the intuition is clear now let's look at the code to understand it in a more better way so here is our code if our element is 1 then we increment the answer and we again put the count to 0 why we are doing this let's understand in the else statement so in else statement we will go if we are encountering 0 so we are counting the number of zeros between 2 and updating the maximum count as max of maximum count comma count which is the previous count and the count which is now so in this you will get the count of the continuous zeros which are there between 2 1 or the count of the continuous zeros and the maximum count will be the maximum count of the continuous zeros available in the string so that zeros can be turned to 1 so we add that maximum count to the answer and already we are adding 1 to the answer in case we have 1 in the string so it becomes the answer actually becomes 1 the number of 1 plus maximum count of zeros which I discussed earlier. So I hope you all understand the solution.
Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So here we are discussing the question fake or typical. The question states that you are given a binary string s of length n, representing a tendon sheet of Alice. For days when Alice went to school, si equal to one, otherwise si equal to zero. Alice wants to increase her attendance. She can perform the following operation at most once. Choose any substring of s where Alice was absent every day. She can then give a medical certificate for this period and will be marked present for the whole period. Note that a substring is contiguous segment of a string. For example, ACAB is substring of AC, ABA, CABA, but C, but alone D or AA aren't substrings of the string. In other words, substring L to R is the string from L to index R. So we need to find maximum number of days Alice will be marked present after performing the operation at most once. So we are given with input P the number of test cases and N the length of the string. And second line contains binary string S. So here what we need to do is we need to have at most the number of ones we, which we can have. So the maximum number of ones are needed and we can convert 0 can be converted to 1 when they are between 1 which means if I have 1 0 1 this can be converted to 1 1 1 so we can convert zeros to 1 if our starting element is 1 and ending element is also 1 or else we are only having 0 so in this case there are all 1's already so answer is 3 here we can convert all zeros to 3 all zeros to 1 so the answer is 3 as we need to choose a substring so we are choosing a substring where we can encounter the 0 so in this if you convert 0 1 it will be only one so it will be two days if you take one zero zero it will be three days we can take one zero zero one so this will be four days and this is the answer here also you can take one zero zero one and this is the answer so here what we need to do is we need to find the maximum count of zeros which is there and then count the number of ones number of ones plus max of zero when these both are added this will give us the answer so i hope the intuition is clear now let's look at the code to understand it in a more better way so here is our code if our element is one then we increment the answer and we again put the count to zero why we are doing this let's understand in the else statement so in else statement we will go if we are encountering zero so we are counting the number of zeros between two and updating the maximum count as max of maximum count comma count which is the previous count and the count which is now so in this you will get the count of the continuous zeros which are there between 2 1 or the count of the continuous zeros and the maximum count will be the maximum count of the continuous zeros available in the string so that zeros can be turned to 1 so we add that maximum count to the answer and already we are adding 1 to the answer in case we have one in the string so it becomes the answer actually becomes one the number of one plus maximum count of zeros which i discussed earlier 
So I hope you all understand the solution. Thanks for watching.